So when it comes to glads, one of my favorite things is vintage antiques. And I love stuff that is mid-century modern. And I look for those all the time. And one of the things about glads is there is a vase that is made for glads. Mid-century modern design developed vases that look like this. This is actually the small size. I have a larger size too that you've seen probably in some of my Instagram posts. So if you follow me on Instagram um, at Ubloom, you're going to see some of the bigger one. I have a set of two that were vintage that I got uh, at an antique auction one time that are amazing. that are aqua blue. And so they're in the living room. But then I got this smaller sized one that's yellow. The cool thing about it is that it has a yellow glaze on the outside. And then on the inside, there's a green glaze. And um, I think that that's really beautiful. But these vases were, uh, were made for glads. You'll see how they're thin. It's thin. Looks like a shell kind of. And then there's one, two, three, four, five openings. Bigger one in the center, smaller ones to the outside. And these were created so that you could put your glads in them and set them on the table or on the credenza. And then you could watch your glads open. And I love them. I think that they're wonderful. You can certainly arrange other flowers in them, but the glads are extremely beautiful. And um, so we're going to work with the yellow glads today. They're right over here. And look at how they um, opened up. And here's, this is, just look at the detail on this. These yellow glads have little purple pollen stamens and anthers inside them. They're purple. And isn't that cool? Because if you think about purple and yellow are complementary colors. So of course that's going to cause excitement. Just that little of purple inside there is so exciting. So we're going to use these yellow glads inside this yellow vase today. And so we're using our uh, compact pruners from DRAM and our bypass cutters, my favorite for cutting. Um, I was raised on a knife. I know. I was raised on a locking blade Swiss Army knife. But I just find that it's too easy for those of you who don't have, you know, 40 years experience, you might cut yourself. And this is a great way to use a bypass cutter where the blade bypasses the other blade and it gives us a nice, great angled cut like this. Okay. So we have a nice, great angled cut. I'm going to pull off any of the leaves that are going to fall below the water line. I'm going to want this to set on the edge of the container. So it'll go in there like that. Okay. And we can come back and tip them if we want to, but I'm just going to go ahead and add glads to this. So this is just a really fun way. And I think let's, what we're going to shoot for is we'll shoot for 10 glads because that's what we would typically get in a bunch. Okay. So we're going to try and do 10 glads in here and see how this just lines itself up. I mean, it's, you know, when I was a little kid, there was a, uh, um, a commercial for a thing called a range of matic and it were these little vases that sat on top of each other and formed a stack and you filled them all in with flowers and it had a little ball arrangement that you were done it was like the range of matic is what they called it i have an antique one over there i'll get it out sometime and we'll make an range of matic but um i think that it's interesting because the this was the start of the range of matic this is mid-century modern this is in the 50s or 60s and and this was an, a, a a vase that was made to allow you to arrange easier so it's just a really great way to work with gladiolas and gosh these yellow are so pretty i love the fact that my vase is kind of a little muted yellow and um these glads are from gladaway are just incredible they're bright yellow okay and so just look at how how great that starts to look and this you know this reminds me of what I love the most about flowers is this arrangement is going to be all about the flowers. It, you know, yeah, pretty vase, fun vase, great concept, good idea. But this is all about these amazing glads from Gladaway. I'm um, growing on the central coast of California. My friend Bonnie is out there and it's the perfect spot um, on the planet to grow glads and they virtually grow them year round. And so, so many different colors, you know, blues and, or excuse me, blues, no blues. There's no blue glads, sorry. Lavenders, oranges, peaches, pinks, 
you know, all these different colors, just so wonderful. It's just a really great opportunity for us to, to have a beautiful flower like this. And I love the fact, again, I'll tell you that the thing I love about GLADS is we have a lime flower that takes the place of three form flowers or mass flowers or focal flowers, okay? And that's what GLADS do so very, very well. And of course, look at this guy. He's going to be perfect on that side. Isn't that beautiful? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got four more. I'm going to get in there. Okay. So we're going to see if I can get it done. I, these they have they have such beautiful sturdy stems. And again, remember, I'm going to peel off that foliage so that when I go down inside here in that water, I'm not going to be having foliage under the water level that's going to help create bacteria. The one thing about this is you, well, you want to leave a space in back and typically I will leave this area open right here. See how that's a little more open right there so that I can go in there with my with my flower food and add water on a day-to-day -day basis. Now remember the other thing about it is look at how much higher this is than this side over here. So I usually take it to the sink and add water at the sink, okay? because you can make a mess real quick with a glad <laughs> with a glad base on your table. Okay, so I think we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, all right. So let's try and get eight inside here. Eight would go there. Let's do nine. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go tall. I'm gonna go tall. Go big, go home. I can't go big, go home. There we go. Right. And so I'm just tipping these a little bit more because I. It's just an aesthetic thing for me. Yeah, you could leave them on. That would be fine. So now we're at nine, and we're gonna have ten. Ten. It's gonna be right here. All right. Bonnie, thank you for sending these to me. I mean, this is just, it makes me so happy to be able to arrange with beautiful flowers. And, you know, just having the opportunity to share them with you too is, is super, super special for me as well. I think this one is going to go there. Maybe. Oh, see. <laughs> there we go. You know, the flower arranger. There we are. The mid-century modern arrangematic, the glad vase. Isn't that pretty? Now, um, I know that I, I uh, you always want to know how to make your flowers last longer. First of all, I use Chrysler Professional 3 inside here, which is going to make sure that all of these glads open all the way to the end. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, we'll have other pictures of this too. Also, when you finish... A great um, thing to do at the end of every arrangement is to coat it with Chrysler Professional Glory. And this is an anti-transpirant that helps seal the molecular structure of the flower and at the same time prevent it from evaporating moisture off its face. And these beautiful glad flowers are going to want to evaporate water faster. So sealing them with this great product from Chrysler is going to allow them to last about 26% longer. So, see, I love that. Oh, this little guy turned. Hey, I turned. There we go. Put him back in there straight. Isn't that fun? It's just, it's a really, really pretty display. Um, I love putting this in uh, any of the rooms that we have a mirror in. Because I think it's fun to have a little reflection on the back side of it, too. And I think that that's really pretty. But wow, in that, in, I mean, my computer's down here, so I can see what you see down here. So that's why I always look down here, all right? But look at how pretty that is. It's just really lovely. And wow, what a fun way to have, it's some bright sunshine, a little bit of sunshine. Yellow is a super positive color. People who love yellow are the sunshines in our life. And but that's the kind of person Bonnie is. She's the sunshine in our life. But these yellow glads are as well. So I hope you enjoyed this, a mid-century modern glad vase with beautiful yellow glads from Gladaway Gardens. So thanks so much. Until next time, keep having fun with flowers.